strong-willed, untalkative man at odds with the world around him. Cold, efficient, maybe even ruthless and obsessive. Driver Series is one of the most successful in gaming history, winning awards and critical and commercial acclaim all over Europe and America. So what is it that goes into making a game like this? Like the production of any good movie, Driver 3 pulled together many disciplines and areas of expertise. For Martin Edmondson and Reflections, this was a three-year journey from the first stages of design to the finished game. The concept of Driver 3 really is, is very little difference to the concept of Driver 1. It's more really that the design has, has evolved and the scope of the game has evolved. Capturing the look and feel of the cities is important in creating the atmosphere of the game. Streets have been accurately recreated. Over 90,000 photographs were taken of the cities with researchers walking over 1,000 miles to get the images they needed. Because Miami featured in Driver One, it was Tanner's home. Because it was his home, we wanted to return Tanner back to his original home city. To mix that about again on the next city was uh, chosen Nice, really because of the, uh, the, well, the contrast to Miami, but also it, it has a, a certain glamour to it. And the wild card in there, I suppose, was Istanbul. And the reason we went for Istanbul in the end was, again, it had these really run-down ramshackle huts, sat right next to the most incredible mosques and just amazing buildings. We have a, a mission scripting system, it's a tool that allows us to uh, lay out start points and end points and other things about what you have to do in certain areas, you might be picking something up, you might be uh, following somebody and that car's path has to be drawn out in the, uh, the 3D world. The biggest additions to Driver 3 is the weaponry. You have a couple of handguns, there's um, machine guns, shotgun, there's also a grenade launcher in there. These guns are designed to be very pick up and play. It's all about walking into a room and just spraying the place with bullets. So there's a lot of fun just to be had just blowing things to pieces. For Driver 2, we changed to uh, having multiple cars and vans and trucks, and there's an even greater range in Driver 3. But we've gone into other areas, uh, there's an articulated truck in there. You find a cab section driving around, and what you can do then is just drive around until you find a trailer section, which you might find in some compound, for example. Reverse up to it, and the thing will couple up, and you're then in charge of a fully articulated 18-wheeler, and you've got the air horn and the air brakes. And there's a couple of missions that involve driving that thing as well, so it's not just a pure toy. If you want people to experience the excitement of driving through narrow streets in a car chase, the cars and bikes have to perform like the real thing. Reflections created a 3D world with its own laws of physics, so vehicles handled and took damage realistically. It's at the heart of what Reflections has tried to do, that when you're driving a sports car, it feels like one, and when you're driving a sedan, it feels different. Every vehicle has its own weighting, handling, and its own engine sound. Reflections have modeled and tested over 70 vehicles. These range from muscle cars to fully articulated trucks, sports bikes to flatbeds, convertibles to forklifts. 
These vehicles respond to collisions and take realistic damage. Reflections built these vehicles with up to 20 detachable panels. The chassis, subframe, and engines are all modeled. So pieces actually come off the car and bumpers can hang off and trail on the ground behind them. You can also shoot the tires and the windows out of these vehicles and you can actually see the bullet holes appear as you fire into them. The accessibility of this number of vehicles with this range of damage provides endless options to how you arrive at the end of your mission. In style or in pieces. The three cities were modeled by a team of 25 artists over three years. These cities are big. 156.14 miles of drivable roads and 35,768 highly detailed buildings. Each building is modeled to incredibly high detail. In addition, Reflections have added over 70,000 other items of clutter. That's trash cans, traffic cones, trees, benches, boxes, lampposts, market stalls, crates. All the things they needed to help the atmosphere come to life. To make these living, breathing cities. The cities themselves were an absolutely enormous undertaking. Uh, we spent years developing them. We based the design of them on the real cities, but we actually modify them a little bit, stylize them a little bit, so that they, they're, they're a bit more fun to play. The story mode is the main game in Driver 3. Reflections have integrated over 40 minutes of full motion video, or FMV, into over 30 specially designed missions. Like a film, the process begins at the concept stage, then moves to a script. Unlike a film, the script has to work in tandem with the missions. It's a key part of the overall design that Reflections can weave the story and the gameplay together into a single experience for the player. From the script, Reflections start drawing storyboards. Over 3,500 drawings were made over the course of development. Next, Characters and locations are modeled. Reflections taking over 3,000 photographs of people to build up a database of textures to make their characters as lifelike as possible. Actors go to motion capture studios where their movements can be translated into data that the animators can use and apply to the characters they have built. We used Iggy Pop for the voiceover on the soundtrack as a way of linking the music together. It's as if Iggy plays a lost sage of the airwaves for a ghost radio station that you find by chance. Iggy's presentation is dark, poetic and intriguing. It lifts the soundtrack and integrates themes, story elements and music all into the world of Driver. The devil is beautiful. That's why he's the devil. After that, the final pieces of facial animation are applied. I was in London when I recorded my part for Tanner, while Ving was in LA recording his part for Tobias Jones, and so far, this is the closest we've got to being able to work together. <laughs> Reflections and music specialist Nimrod listened to thousands of tracks to try and find the right ones for each of the scenes. It's about getting cutting edge bands involved who you might not know about, but you will after the game comes out. The driver team looked across genres. They looked into back catalogs, and they looked into bands just about to break. They set out to ensure that every piece of music would complement the darkly stylish world of driver. 
This is my destiny. If you've got a good product, you've got to let the people know it's out there. So, Atari brought Ridley Scott Associates in to shoot the TV ad to produce a mini epic, in keeping with the cinematic values that the game holds dear. Driver 3, be good, be bad, be Tanner. My kids are going to love it.